So I want to talk to you a little bit about how to make our prayers more powerful. How do we do that? So I once heard a beautiful idea about this that I want to share. Because there's a secret to prayer that we don't always get. So I remember years ago, I was at the park with my kids. My kids were little. And I was there. It was a weekday. And there's another dad there. And the dad was like in his typical, and for the dads out there, you know what I'm talking about. The typical like multitask dad mode. Moms do it too, but I'm a, I'm a guy. And I'm, I think about it from the perspective of a dad. And like I can paint the picture. And there's probably people that are watching. It's like, yeah, that's me. You're watching your kids, but you're also in the middle of working. And so what you're trying to do is do both at the exact same time, right? You got your ear, you got your AirPods on, phone in your hand, and you're like, the, you're, you got your kids in, you know, in the corner of your eye, right? And you're like on a business call, you're doing something, right? And you're talking, typing, you know, in the middle of something, hands flying, right? And your kids are like sort of okay, and you like got them like, you know, you know what I'm feeling? And your kid comes over, you're like, oh, no, honey, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, I saw that. That was amazing. Uh-huh, yeah, I was watching the whole time. What do you mean? Daddy's watching. You absolutely go play. Right? And then the kid comes back, right? And the whole time, like, no, for sure, absolutely, I'm in. And meanwhile, as long as they're okay, you're focused. So this dad was there. He's got two kids. I don't know, one was, I don't know, five, six. One was a little younger. It's like that, that, that zone. And he's doing that the whole time. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, I love it. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. And then they, one kid comes off the slide and like scrapes his knee a little bit and comes crying, daddy, daddy. And he's like tugging in him. He's like, you're okay, you're okay. And the whole time they're like, daddy, daddy, like levels of fetch. And the whole time he's like, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh, like half paying attention. And then the little one got on the monkey bar somehow and fell. Now I'm watching this from far. Otherwise I would have been there too. But watching him from far, kid hits the floor and he goes, daddy! Just screams. This guy was on his call, turned his head, ear, ear pots went flying. Boom. He jetted over. You okay? You okay, honey? Anything breaking? What? Call gone, everything gone in his kid. I was thinking about that. This kid's been daddying him all day long. But isn't, the second they screamed, Daddy! Then every bit of his attention was there. Why is that? Because you see, parents don't really hear their kids. We can't. Like, if you, if all parents did was hear their kids, like, it would never end. Kids are always fetching for something. Kids are always in something. What a parent does is he doesn't hear his kids. A parent feels his kids. You see, to a parent words don't stay at the ear. The words go right to the heart. And a parent could in instinctively hear their name called in 30 different tones and know exactly which tone means I'm needed this second. A girl can come downstairs and everyone goes, good morning, and she goes, morning. And mom can go, you okay? And everyone's like, what? And mom's like, that was not the morning of my daughter. Something was off in that good morning. How did she know? Because she doesn't hear her daughter. She feels her daughter. The words go to the heart. At the base of how prayer works is that prayer is the avoda shibalev. You see, we think prayer is speech. I speak and God listens, and I speak and God listens. No. I speak, and God listens not with his ears, so to speak. He listens with his heart. And so if the words that I say are meaningless and emotionless, and daddy, daddy, it only goes so far. But when the words are daddy, totally different. When you pray, and you pray with your heart, Everything changes. Rachmana deliba boy. Hashem wants our hearts. And in fact, one of the reasons why the Bismuth was destroyed was because our mouths moved, but our hearts wasn't there. You're a soldier in Hashem's army. And this is our craft. 
And so as you pray now, and now is the time of prayer, this world is different than it was a month ago. Our lives can't be the same. Our days can't be the same. We have to look at our own relationship to Hashem differently. And if you haven't prayed before, this is the best time to start. And if you've been praying your whole life, this is the best time to go deeper. But when we pray now, we have to change our mentality. We have to see our words as penetrating or not into the heart of our parent in heaven and make sure that when it leaves our lips, it has that emotion of, I need you now. It has that emotion of, we need this. Help us. Take care of us. Watch over us. Bestow upon us. And when you re reach into your core and get there, the impact of your prayers could block any missile, stop any tank, and find anyone hiding anywhere. We're real soldiers, and may we realize it and pray like it.